education. And because we did not, we do not um, have, or we did not have navigators in Hawaii for many years, my feelings and my uh, opinion is that I don't think our culture was lost in this area. I think it was just placed on hold for a time. And it helped us to find Mao, who is from this part of our Pacific Islands, or the, um, the Pacific, and he's connecting our, our country together. And if it wasn't for the beginnings of Hokulea, who will always be the mother canoe to all of the canoes in Hawaii, I don't think we would have been here today. that we have in Hawaii today tends to draw in a lot of females. And um, when we get together for our trainings, everybody always notices that um, Makali'i has a lot of female sailors on board. And for what reason, we don't really know. But we, when I first got on Makali'i in 1995, um, I could feel her power. And um, from that moment, I knew that that was something I had to do from, for myself and for the people that I will come in contact in the future and for my family. Um, in Hawaii, I grew up not really practicing a lot of culture, uh, mostly following the Western ways. And then as I grew up, got, got older in high school and started to get introduced because around the 70s and 80s, it became um, more okay to be Hawaiian and to look Hawaiian and to start speaking Hawaiian again because our language was almost lost, just like our navigators. And um, in college, I was given the opportunity again to learn more about Hawaiian, being Hawaiian, and learning about myself, and learning the language. And then the next step after learning my language was to start living and practicing more of the culture in my daily life. And I found that Makali'i was making my inside feel more whole. And um, I've been with the project for about four years now, and two years when we started this um, Ima voyage, and um, for the last two years, we've been training and getting ready to come here. And now it's happening. And I think for myself and many of the, all the crew and the women that um, this voyage has made us much more stronger. And it is a lot of fun. And we're having a really good time meeting everybody and seeing family and making new family here in all the islands. And it's also an experience that I think we'll never forget and we'll continue to learn from for the rest of our lives. A couple parts to that. I think um, as a as a whole, as the family of Makali'i, um, we work with high school kids and we do high school programs, so as far as education, we are perpetuating the canoe and the navigator at home with our school, with our school children from preschool all the way up to high school and college as well. So we will continue to build more canoes and we'll continue to have more education programs for our people at home. As far as the women, I think um, 
more women will continue to be attracted to makali'i and when we have our children, um, I hope that I will have the opportunity to share the knowledge that I have with my family and my children as they grow up. And so they don't have to be lost like I once was. And they can grow up knowing their language and um, having their inside full and so that they will be able to move on and be very successful in their communities and in their home and also in the international arena. Ah, uh, the word I say, Sakite Yoemen, the can reperisba, a super city, the super repari. Yeah, she will put her super repari, the camera cerebo. Ursar may sing, sir. Sang a yes, Babo. Sang a visit is over his book. Yeah, Namiri, Raniri, a pop to the Kayamari in the book. Yeah. Peter <laughs> I'm <laughs> Sitongani <laughs> Ikamo,